no beating about the bush. The United Kingdom is in pretty poor shape. Duncan. The deficit forecast for the end of 2011 stands somewhere in the region of 180 billion pounds. It's pretty clear now that neither growth nor austerity cuts in public services will alleviate the problem. Without getting rid of some hefty assets, we may well have another Greece on our hands. And on behalf of Her Majesty's government, I can say that we cannot allow that to happen. David and Nick are fully behind the project. As soon as details of the assets are released, they will only be available to registered bidders. Only a select group of investors are taking part. In order to become one of the companies registered to bid, you must leave a bond of £200,000 today. Though, of course, that will be deducted from the price of any subsequent assets you acquire. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've registered your interest by way of a bond, we can move on and visit some of the properties for sale on the list. Hey. Hey, hi. Sean's team. He's told me so much about you. Now wait, let me guess. Um, you have to be Emma, his secretary, and Albert, financial advisor, uh, Michael, PA, and Ashley, his personal trainer. Told me he couldn't cope without you. Did he know? It must be awesome working for such a great guy. <laughs> yes, we're thrilled. It's such a shame, though about his, you know, his condition. He's such a brave little soldier. Hmm. Um, I suppose I could... Yeah, of course.
Well, it's not likely to be a long-term relationship, then. Why not? Well, telling her you've only got six months to live for a start. Well, the drug therapy could work for me. Wonderful things happening. We do drugs coming down the line all the time. Yeah, that's true. Are we really discussing the merits of a drug therapy that doesn't exist and whether or not it can cure an illness he hasn't got? Wait, are you guys telling me you've never told a little white lie to get a bit of action? No. Lies. Go cool, blind, there must be someone in the air. Oh, that is just wrong. All right, gang. This is Casey. All right. Oh, yeah. My niece. Oh. <laughs> She's come to stay with her Uncle Eddie for a few days, haven't you, sweetheart? Yeah. She's got a very important meeting. Um, you go get yourself ready up in the car, and All right. Sean, you checking my niece out? No? Yes, you were. No, you'll have to excuse him. His hormones are playing up. Yeah, well, hands off, OK, cos I'm responsible for her well-being while she's down here. Don't worry, Eddie. We'll, uh, we'll keep him in check. Uh, listen, I, I've got to take Casey to that meeting, like, so I was going to close up, but if you're going to be here for a while, you can watch the place for me. I'll only be gone half an hour. Yeah. Absolutely. Of course. Nice one. Just leave your money for drinks and stuff behind the bar somewhere, OK? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. behind the bar. Mm-hmm. OK. Eddie's a great uncle. Right, down to business. Who's our next mark, Albert? Ah, we have the right honourable Jeremy Garrett, MP. Just promoted to the Treasury. Clara. And already looking to line his own pocket. We should put a tax on the chips, ketchup and lager. That way we'd recoup most of the benefits we pay to the layabouts. And anything else, we could claw back with uh, um, organ donation. Well, he gets my vote. We also have the High Court Judge, Stanley Mead. Hey. An upstanding gentleman who sits on the Committee for Public Decency. <laughs> yes, Albert, I'm uh, deep in a complicated case at the moment. Cheers, darling. Ooh. Yeah, runner. Ooh. 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 <laughs> specializes in fraud cases, once quoted as saying that all con men should be hung, drawn, and caught. Mm. Well, he just jumped to the top of the list. Anyone else? Yes, I've been cultivating a relationship with Viscount Manley. His father's just given him up. £100,000 to invest in a share portfolio. What can I tell you about this fine young product of the aristocracy? <laughs> so how is the minimum wage these days? <laughs> I dare say we've spent your month's salary on our bloody starter. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the choice is yours. Let's all write down our favourite. I'm going to abstain. I can't choose between them. Case? Casey? Hey, what's the matter, love? Case? Stupid. Oh, come on, Case. They told us she had a modelling job. That's why she's down here. And he was a flaming con. No. She had 900 quid and Nan left her. Robin bastards have had it all, every penny. Scandalous. It's not the money, like. I can give her that back. But they've broken her heart, you know. She was so excited. The old family's sitting there, waiting by the phone, waiting to hear how she got on. Poor thing. Yeah, I hate people like that. Yeah, preying on pretty girls. Hey. That's it. You lot could get them for me. Get them? Yeah, 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 you know, do you, you grifty, stitchy up con thingy? Uh, yeah, well, we'd, uh, we'd love to, Ed, but we've got a lot on at the moment. Um, bit of a backlog. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, shouldn't have asked. <clears throat> On the other end, he is a mate. Yeah, that's true. Really? Of course we'll help you. Oh, oh. that's Grace. Oh, Just uh, wishing me luck at the hospital. I don't know how you sleep at night. Mm. Like a baby. Well, she was a looker. You were definitely punching above your weight. Yeah, she was, wasn't she? How'd you put her in the first place? Yeah, I saw her alone at a bar and I, uh, 
I gave her the Sean special. The Sean special? Yep, I pulled my hanky out. You what? I learnt this years ago. It's one thing that no woman can resist. Which is? A bloke crying. It brings out their maternal instincts. Oh, leave it out. No, I promise you, it never fails. You should try it sometime. OK, ready when you are. Wendy Stanton, CEO of Model Devotion. Hardly Vogue material, is she? More horse than hand. Uh, Alice Foster? Too fat. Well, she's only a size six. Exactly. Tell her to come back when she's got an eating disorder. Oh, and no calls for an hour. I'm having crystals. Sweetheart. Yeah, she's a failed model who's now trying to break into the high-end fashion market as an agency, but has never made it. Most of her work is low-end catalog stuff, and it drives her mental. What makes it worse is that her ex-partner, Betty Greenacre, has just got a contract to supply models from Milan Fashion Week. And then that's our way in. We offer her the thing she wants most. A shot at the big time. How did she con Eddie's niece? Uh, she puts ads in most of the original press looking for young girls who want to be models. Once she gets them in, she tells them they'll need a portfolio, 300 quid for headshots, another four for full body shots, plus extra for admin costs and inclusion in their directory. Of course, she tells them they'll recoup every penny on their first job. Which never comes. Exactly. Now, if I had to make a guess, I'd say she scams about 100 girls like Casey every year. At a grand each. That's a lot of dough. Better still, she tells the girl she can save them VAT if they're paying cash, and none of it shows up in her file accounts. Well, you think she's stashing it? Well, something tells me she's not giving it to charity. That's the other thing about her, by all accounts. She is as tight as a duck's backside. Hates pying with money. That's not the greatest character trait in a mark. We'll work around it. What about the other marks? I'll keep them warm. Good. Then let's get to it. I'd like to make an appointment to see Miss Stanton. So, Mr. Hillary King. <clears throat> I'm being manipulated. I'm sorry, but there's a call. Uh, they're very insistent. Who? He said he works with Hillary King. Never heard of him. Uh, he's a designer. Apparently, he's featured in here.
Page 64. Hello? Wendy Stanton? To model devotion. The pleasure is all mine, sweets. I thought we'd sit in the soft area. Mm, perfect. This is my assistant, Anthony. Well, I hope you don't mind if Helena sits in. She's my lifestyle coach. Oh, of course, mate. Of course. Did I read somewhere that you're launching a new range in Milan? Yeah, I am. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm here. Oh. I need to find a special kind of girl for the launch. See, my vision is to use London as a theme. A twist on Cool Britannia. It's going to be called UK Chic. Inspired. But I need to find someone new to be the face of UK Chic. The days of the stick insect are, like, done. You get me? I want to find someone who looks real. Pretty, yeah. But someone who looks like they know what a chip is. Got to be earthy, got to be fun, got to be in your face. Someone that says, I'm here, this is me, so deal with. This could be mega. Bigger than mega, babe. Mega, mega. I I'm loving the vision. <laughs> so how can I help? Well, we've tried all the larger agencies, but all we've been shown is a usual array of rib cages. So, let's see what you've got. <laughs> OMG? Wow! Oh, that's that's her. <gasps> Are you sure? No doubt. Look at her eyes. That's the one. Okay. <laughs> Leave it to me. Um, I'll call Casey right away. I'll wait. Oh, you have a six o'clock with Ms. Greenacre. But you can cancel that now, surely, now that we found the girl. Yeah, kill it. Don't forget dinner with Miss McCartney. Oh, can't cancel Stella again. She'll be livid. Oh, God, it's so... Oh! Uh, um, 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 um. All right, I'll leave it with you, but I must have her. Consider it done. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Brimming over. This is Mega. Oh, Mega, Mega. <laughs> You'll call the moment she's confirmed. The very second. All right. Got a jet. Excellent. Hugs. Kisses. Hold that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello? Hello, is that Casey Bond? Wendy Stanton here from Model Devotion. Oh, hiya. Uh, can you pop in today? No, today, no, sorry, I'm on a train back to Liverpool. It's my nan's birthday. Uh, how about tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, no, I can't, cos, well, I've got to ask my mum, cos I'm due back at college, you see. Okay, no, no, but, yeah, no, I will. Alright, okay, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> nice and classy, guys, it's a studio, not a knocking shop. Martha. Yeah, look, I need someone who knows their way around a camera, a couple of kids, and two or three birds. They have to be lookers. If they've done a bit of catwalk, all the better. Yeah, Oi! I'm talking here! Ah, uh, yeah, two brunettes, one blonde. Legs up to their neck. Lovely. All right. Yeah, ta da. Go. 
guess who. She should be desperate enough by now. Make an appointment for 10.30 tomorrow morning. Hello? Oh, yeah, hi, yeah, yeah. Um, my mum said she can watch the baby and Uncle Eddie can bring me down tomorrow if you still want to see me. Uh, yeah, OK, it's 10.30, all right? Yeah, me too. Bye. How was she? A bit gushy. Great. Sean, call Eddie. Brief him. Casey Bond is here to see you. All right, bye. Show her in. <clears throat> Casey, darling, thrilled. Yes, yeah, sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, like. Only it's 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 Casey's night, you see. Don't worry, sweetie. Now I have some very exciting news. I have a client who's about to launch at Milan Fashion Week. Milan. It took a lot of persuading on my part, but I think I finally won him round, and he's thinking of using you. <laughs> Isn't that marvellous? That sounds fantastic, doesn't it, Case? Oh. Now, the money's not great, but it'll be a real chance to make your mark, get your first step on the ladder. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm really made up. Oh, she's so always been lucky. You've always been a lucky. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Has she? <laughs> no, she's gorgeous. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Good. Great. Eye drops. Oh. Good. Thank you. How do I look? Expensive. Is that good or bad? Perfect. Briefcase. Good with loving kids. <laughs> yep. OK, so. Eddie's out. <laughs> yeah, me speak. Wend, hello. Oh, that is wonderful news, yeah. Listen, I'm having lunch later with one of the investors from Milan, and I wondered if you'd like to come over and meet him. Yeah, he's an old friend, knows nothing about fashion, but uh, he was very excited about our new girl. <laughs> All right, yeah, good. I'll have Anthony call you and give you the details. Yeah, babe. All right, all right. Hans, bye. <laughs> what a frightful woman. the friend I was telling you about. Humps, please. Uh, bloody good to meet you. Uh, Hillary tells me you're in business together. Well, yes. It, well, I don't understand it myself. You know, don't pretend that I do. All this prancing around. But Hillary's a good egg, so uh, live and let live, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> are these your new designs? <laughs> LOL. No, my designs are under lock and key. This is just some promotional material from Milan. And when can I see your designs? When we have our face of uh, UK chic to model them. I spoke to her this morning. And? She's on board. Oh, that is <laughs> sick! This is that girl I was telling you about. The bloody marvellous. Can't wait to see her. She took a little persuading. She's got a lot of offers on the table. I don't doubt it. And we may need to discuss her fee again. She, uh, she doesn't come cheap. Steady hills. She's moving into the kill. <laughs> I'm sure we can come to some sort of arrangement. Let's have a sit down. A nice chat, eh? Anthony, come and take some notes for the press release, love. Have a seat there, Wend. Tell me about our girl. Well, <clears throat> her name is Casey Bond. She's from Liverpool. I've been cultivating her for quite some time. The moment I saw her, I knew she was destined for great things. That's very clever of you. Well, fortunately, I have a gift for this kind of thing. <laughs> now, she's working class, but with a little help, that shouldn't be a problem. Casey is the jewel in my crown, which is why I said she, uh, she won't come cheap. Oh, dear Hills, she's off again. As Casey's manager, I need to keep her interests close to my heart. Oh, all right, all right. Well, I was thinking, ooh, 10,000 a week. Pounds? <laughs> Naturally. Well, It's just playing us, old boy. Oh, Wendy, all right, all right, 12, but that's my limit. 12,000 pounds a week. Do we have a deal? Uh, 
you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Hurrah! That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's great. We'll get Casey over for fittings next week, and then Milan, here we come. I'll have Anthony go over the details. Perfect. Will you be investing, Wendy? Excuse me. Well, you know, I mean, it's a great opportunity. Uh, have your name associated with a brand. Uh, <clears throat> well, yes. Uh, <laughs> That is very... It's a very, very good idea. Yeah, it's just a big toe, really. Say, um, 20 to 50 thou. 20 to 50 thou. <clears throat> yes. Well, uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> is that the time? Damn it, I'm going to be late for my next appointment. Sorry. <laughs> very, very, very interesting, though. Yes, we must, um, I'll give it a lot of thought. No, I'll call. I'll call. <laughs> Hugs! Kisses. Game over. <clears throat> well, that went well. We'll have to loosen her up a bit. Yeah. That woman in her office, the one with the candles and incense. The lifestyle coach. How's that gonna work? Well, she's superstitious. So we'll give her a nudge from the other side. At some point, we'll have to arrange flights for you to join Mr. King in Milan for Fashion Week. First class, of course. And do let us know if you have any preference on what hotel you'd like to stay in. Well, I'll have my people talk to your people. <laughs> F.A.B. I thought Hillary might be here. No, he has a reading this afternoon. Oh? Mm, his psychic life coach. Apparently she's amazing. He never makes a move without consulting her first. A psychic life coach? Mm, in the fashion world, anyone who is anyone uses her. I mean, Donatella swears by her. The Donatella? Is there another one? Uh, this lady, does she ever take on any new clients? Oh, no. Although I'm sure if you mentioned Mr King's name... Ciao. Hillary speaks very highly of you. I understand he won't make a move without consulting you first. I do what I can. <laughs> I think you're being modest. <laughs> you have an excellent aura. Do I? Mm. It's beautiful. Give me your hands. Hmm. Is it my chakra? Oh, heavens no. Chakra so last year. Really? Well, last century. You're not still having your chakra aligned, are you? Well, mm. This is going to take longer than I thought. Um... I'd like to start with a reading first. I was hoping you might. <laughs> I see you surrounded by beauty. But yet there's something dark. There's something that's preventing you from fulfilling your full potential. Yes, I've often felt that. It's, it's a tenseness huh? surrounding money. You must fight this. It's holding you back. You must let go. <gasps> what? There's a door. A door? No, 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 no. You're too cautious. You don't want to go through. No, no, no. I will, I will, I will go through it. Open the door. No. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm loving the door. Let me in. Really, could you? Yes, 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 I could. All right, I'll try and look inside the door. <gasps> what? What is it? What's in there? <gasps> Recognition. There's people applauding and there's light bulbs flashing and it's acclaim. Where? Yeah. There's, a, there's a man with a... Key. Oh, a, a, a key to the door? Perhaps. He's, he's, he's in a faraway land and everybody's smiling except for him. Can you see who it is? No, but he's he's very troubled. It's fading, though. It's The door's closing. Open the door. Put your foot in it. No, it's, it's, it's gone. Oh. oh. But was it definitely a door of opportunity? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. And before the door closed... What? Oh. I saw you on the outside trying to get in, crying. And. And? Milk. Milk? Yes, it's a metaphor for missed opportunities. You know, there's no use crying. Crying over spilled milk? Yes, exactly. I really appreciate it, lads. You know, helping our Casey in there. Anything I can do in return, all you've got to do is ask. 
Large one? Is there any other kind? How'd it go? She's so terrified of missing an opportunity, she's probably doing the lottery as we speak. Perfect. We meet her in 20 minutes. We'll tell her the sob story. Oh, you better get moving then. What'd you fancy? Uncle? Cousin? I think younger brother looks closer to home. Well, it's an absolute disaster. Humphrey, uh, all right? Yes. No, I know. <sighs> Family crisis. Oh, dear. He's got this moron for a younger brother and causes him nothing but trouble. Everything's all right, though, isn't it? For Fashion Week, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Let's hope so. Hope so? Humps was hoping to put up most of the money himself, but now he's got this bloody problem with Piers. His younger brother? Exactly, more. The problem is, Piers was always the grandmother's favourite, right? So when the old witch died, she signed over most of the estate to him. I think it was 40-odd uh, million, to be precise. Gosh. I know. But he's a bloody idiot. And Humps, poor old Humps, has to spend most of his time digging him out of trouble. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, sorry, Wendy. No problem. You're looking very lovely today. <laughs> oh, terribly sorry, I have to take this. Excuse me. Hello? Yes. Oh, Richard, yes. Hello. Uh... What exactly is this family crisis? Uh, well, well, Piers has only gone and got himself arrested in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, weed in the rucksack, apparently. Heavens! Yeah, it's called the Land of Smiles, but not where drugs are concerned, I can tell you. Land of Smiles? Excuse me? Oh, <clears throat> you're nothing, sorry, please go on. <laughs> well, luckily enough, the American ambassador is a close personal friend. So, Humps is hoping he can pull a few strings. What do you think he can? I don't know, it's all very complicated. But if he can swing it, I've told Humps he should use it to kill two birds with one stone. How? Well, baby brother still controls most of the family's estate. That's why we have to have him count to sign all the checks we need for the launch. Oh, bugger. I know. But I've told Humps that in exchange for springing him, he should get the baby brother to sign the estate over to him. And do you think he might? Uh, anyway, uh... Well, if the alternative is 25 years in a Bangkok prison, I would. I see. Mm, then we can finally concentrate on our partnership. We've got some very big plans. Really? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go retail. Keeping it hot, though. New York, Paris, London. Oh, how exciting. <clears throat> I'd love to be part of those plans. I like that. A woman who can see a window of opportunity. Or a door. Or a door. Draw up a contract for the little tart from Liverpool. Two weeks, possibly three at £200 a week. And a long-term deal giving us 50% of all future earnings. Uh, expenses? Oh, I think £10 a day for food is plenty for deep-fried Mars bars. Call her and sign it when it's done. Oh, and try to get her away from that clingy uncle. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, yes. Let's move on to the next stage, then. Would you like to come through, Mr Parker? Susan Carter? Yes. Would you come with us, please? What's this all about? I understand your anxiety, Susan. Truly, I do. And I will try to answer your question as soon as I possibly can. But before I can do that, I need to ask you something. 
And I need you to think carefully before you answer. It may well be the most important question you've ever been asked. Okay. Susan, how much do you love your country? has got this meeting with the ambassador. I said we'd go along for moral support. Absolutely. It's good of you to come, Hills. And you, Wendy. But I'm afraid it's all for nothing. I've just spoken to George. The Thai judiciary is corrupt, and the judge who needs to sign the release form is one of the worst. He wants 10 million baht to cooperate. You, you, you can't be serious. Well, I'm sorry, old boy. Apparently, you won't move. It seems it's the going rate. The thing is, with peers out of the picture, I can't access the estate fund, so... Milan? Sorry. All right, look, what, what, if, what if I put up the money to get him out? You? Yeah, well, if it's the only way we can save the launch. Well, that's marvellous. And I'll pay you back double, and no, no arguments or no. the deal's off. <sighs> You're very generous. George flies to Bangkok in three hours. He plans to take the cash in his diplomatic bag. All being well, he can get peers on the return flight. Wait, wait, wait. Cash? Problem? Well, I don't know if I can access, you know, that amount of cash in, 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 in a couple of hours. Oh, damn, damn. You know, I never even crossed my mind. Um, can I ask? How much is 10 million baht in sterling? Uh, well, at today's rate, it's about uh, 200,000. I've got about half that amount in a current account I can get to. Now, as I said, he won't take anything less than 10 million. What about a cheque to cover the remainder? No good. It seems we'll miss our opportunity. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll call George, see if we can delay things. And if we can't? I'll call Milan. Damn! With Piers out of the picture, we can still finance our plans to go retail, right? such a shame to have the bloody door slammed in your face. Flipping cash, holding us back. Just think, all that acclaim just waiting there. <laughs> I am so clumsy. No good crying over spilt milk, old boy. Wait. I'll put up the rest of the money to have Piers released. Wendy, no. No, I insist. That is very generous of you. And I'll pay you back double and no arguments. Great. Look, well, I can, um, I can, I can walk to my bank from here and I'll have Anthony drop you wherever you need to be. Yeah, I'm bloody grateful, both. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Seeing as we're going to be partners. <laughs> Hugs. Kisses. Kisses. Yeah, don't mind if I do. And you'll have 200 back. Well, if you're sure about that, I don't know. I've spoken to George, he said we're go straight in. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? I understand it's going to rain this afternoon at 3 p.m. Yes. Though they did say it should clear up by 5. 605, 6th floor. These are the names of the guests. You'll ask for a Mr. Powell. And God bless America. I'll just go get assigned in, yeah? Okay. Susan. The man has just come through just like you said. Room 605. Good. Now give me three passes. You're doing a fine job, Susan. A fine job. But I need you to stay strong for the next 30 minutes and it'll all be over, okay? 
Here we are. Come. George. Oh, I'm very well. I've just about given up on you. Yes, a last minute hitch. All fine now. You, um, you know Hillary? Ah, uh, yes. And this is a very dear friend of mine, Wendy. Great pleasure to meet you, Wendy. Please. Um, Wendy knows the score. She's here for moral support. I've just been talking with my counterpart in Bangkok. It appears as well, but he's very anxious to come home. Oh, poor little sod. What's his own doing? Um, has anyone spoken to him about the estate? Yes, and he's agreeable. You sure? I talked to him at length on the telephone, and he said he'd be willing to sign the papers before he was released. I'm saying, didn't I tell you? Yes, but it, it still doesn't feel right. With all due respect, your grandmother wasn't the full ticket. Think of it as saving him from himself. If you hold the purse strings, you have much more of a chance of keeping him in check. I couldn't agree more. Oh, do you really think so? Yes, I do. Sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. All right. Let's do it. At last. Where would a chap be without friends? I'll have Pierce on the first plane home. Thank you. I've got about two and a half hours before my plane leaves, so I better get a move on. Yes, of course. And thanks again, George. I'll call you as soon as it's done. A great pleasure to meet you. So is Milan back on? Oh, absolutely. Bloody Oh, fantastic. Uh, listen, I think I ought to go and see George off at the airport. It's the least I can do. That's a very good idea. I'll have Anthony drive us. Um, just let me walk Wendy to the lift. Oh, I thought we might celebrate. Oh, damn good idea. Dinner my place tomorrow evening. Mwah. Look forward to it. <laughs> Excellent. You must remind me to pay the first instalment on that new girl. Well, if you're sure. Oh, well, I always find it's best to stay on top of these things, don't you? Yes, I do. I do. <sighs> All set? All set. We're here to see Mr. Powell. Mara. Let's all write down our favourite. So, uh, Harry, tell me more about this investment thingy that we're so cagey about. Oh, well, there's someone I'd like you to meet. How do I look? Well, as the family lawyer, it's my duty to inform you that bribing a Thai government official to secure the release of a foreign national is a criminal offence. <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. But, I mean, for a 300% return on a five-day investment, I would, quite frankly, sell my own grandmother. Oh, yes, come right in. He is expecting you. Simon, always a pleasure to see you. This is Jeremy Garrett. Please take a seat. So, we have a stray brother in Thailand. Hmm. Right, well, here's my hundred thousand. Thank you. I had a conversation with my counterpart in Bangkok earlier today. Piers as well, but he's obviously anxious to get home. <laughs> Eye drops. Oh, I know he's an idiot, but he's my brother. And I've contacted the diplomatic offices of America, but they say the Thai government's so corrupt that it's impossible. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm sure we can sort something out for you, my dear. <laughs> There you are, then. Thank you. With all due respect, your grandmother wasn't a full ticket. I can't manly good to see you. So, come on, then, Frank. I know you financial types like to play your cards close to your chest, but have you got a steer for my hundred thou or not? Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Double your investment. Daddy'll poop his pants. Poshki. Judge made. 
Jeremy Garrett. Looks like you've got a casting vote, Mick. Uh, there is another choice. In 1927, gentleman James Granger conned three marks simultaneously using the Spanish prisoner scam. It has never been done before or since. Con them all at the same time? Nah, it's impossible. Uh-oh. You said the impossible word. Job, Susan. We're all done. Say, where do your parents live? Minnesota. Then you call them and tell them that because of their daughter's vigilance, they can sleep safely in their beds this evening. God bless America. <laughs> I saw it, and I still can't believe we pulled it off. Four marks with a single con. It ain't possible. Uh, it's flaming genius. <laughs> One more than Gentleman James Ranger. Now, that was a ride. Yeah, for you, maybe, but it nearly did me head in. Can we go back to one at a time, now? Absolutely. What about the loose ends? Ah, they're all taken care of. Girls? Uh, Wendy. Yes, sweetie? I think we have a problem. No problem, sweetie, only... Doors of opportunity to find a solution. Uh, it's Casey Bond. What about her? She turned down the contract. What? It seems that Betty Greenacre has signed her up first. She was such a beautiful dog. I'm so sorry. That's OK. Nick, Nick Parker. Betty Greenacre. What makes it worse is that her ex-partner, Betty Greenacre, has just got a contract to supply models for Milan fashion. I need to meet you, Betty. Let me get you a drink. Uh, no, 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 I'd love to, but I must get back. Uh, the, um, the office has a habit of falling into chaos when I'm not there. What do you do? Well, I'll tell you, but, um... But only if you can keep a secret. How intriguing. You have my word. Industrial espionage. I, I spy on rival companies for my clients. Really? <laughs> cultivating her for quite some time. The moment I saw her, I knew she was destined for great things. Cheers. And I can't imagine how they're all going to feel when we call them later and tell them that the ambassador was arrested for trying to bribe a Thai official. <laughs> I wouldn't 
give to be a fly on a wall. <laughs> Shall we join the others? Yes, sweetie, let's. Ooh, hugs, darling. Oh, kisses. £500 a week doing some calendars. In the Canary Islands. Oh, blimey, I'm in the wrong job. Oh, Betty is so lovely as well. This is so brilliant, guys. I don't know how to thank you. I will think of something. Yeah, 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 I'm sure you will. <laughs> hey, come on, darling. Let's go and give your mum a call, okay? Give her the good news, eh? Okay? <laughs> See you later. Bye, Casey. Bye. 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 Ah, Eddie's happy, Casey's dreams are intact, and we made a profit in the process. I'd say that's about as good as it gets. Hang on. I think it just got a bit better. Oh, not again. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. What's with the hanky? You don't want to know. Well, he is consistent. You have to give him that. Yeah, consistently annoying. I'm fine, I just... Oh. <laughs> you know, I have a very funny feeling I'm about to become his PA again. Yeah, well, speaking as his personal trainer, as it looks like he's already about to have a workout, I might as well have a drink. <laughs> Cheers, love. Cheers, Cheers darling. Watch out, Stan. Hey. Love the dress. <laughs> <laughs> Colour matches your eyes. <laughs>